And there's definitely at least one Phoenix there. So being okay. able to go turn one looting, discard a Phoenix, yeah. that's that's kind of where I you want. That's exactly that's kind of where you want to go right now. I think he's gonna oh. hope to find the Metamorphoses. Let's see. And what do we got oh. here? Match is gonna pause a little bit. I think Philippe is just holding. Maybe they're trying to determine life total. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see what Dave is working with right now. Okay, cycle, cycle straight right. Yeah. Pretty pretty standard right now. Draws a fetch land. Another street right. Cycle okay. Uh, I think that was a. That's just a swamp right now. I think so. Yeah. I think it's one of like the Apex swamps. All right, fetch yeah. shock. I'm uh, not. I think serum, serum visions. visions? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a serum visions. Yeah, it's a little off, a little okay. off strain right now. All right, let's see. Uh... Street wraith is such a weird card. You I know. know it's yeah, a, it's... It, it, it's kind of, you see how your hand develops as you're going. And, you know, if you had a Thought Seize, yeah. that would have been an incredible start, That's especially right, yeah. backed up with Death Shadows. But sometimes you get those starts where it's like, cycle, cycle, all right, slow it down, let's Serum Visions. All right, so he's already at 13 life already right now. And I see at least the one Death Shadow on his hand. He drew an Inquisition off of the first draw step right now. Let's see what Philippe is going to... Thing in the Ice is probably my guess. Oh, Manomorphos. Okay. Oh, no, he can probably get the... Okay, first spell cast. If he has a looting, yes. Yep. Okay, let's see. I know at least of one Phoenix in there. If he can dump the double Phoenix and play like one more spell, that's that's pretty good. And I think I think I saw a blue cantrip, so I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, I'm he pretty sure he's setting up for the turn two. And okay, so it's just one, one Phoenix. Phoenix, yeah. So one, yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. There's a vision. Oh, looting! Oh, okay, he's gonna looting. try to go for the double. All right, see if he can get uh, even more phoenixes. Okay. Oh, so it's just the Doesn't one. Want one. The... Okay, it's just only one phoenix right now. I Which think is that's, reasonable. That's, with, yeah, with, that's with pretty David good. At Being ten currently. Ten, like yeah, like. yeah. Goes to seven right now. Oh, no. Nope. I guess he was oh, at 13, no, and now he's going to go down to 10. Okay. Yeah, cycle, cycle, fetch, shock. Uh, yeah, so 16, fetch, 13, 13 right now. Yeah. Currently at 13. That makes sense. So Philippe's probably thinking right now, like, if I'm going to turn... Do I want to want? Yeah, I yeah. think, you're, I think you'd, you'd wanna kinda yeah, I you definitely want to just kind of turn things... Yeah, I think you've got to go for it. Inquisition. We're going to probably see an Inquisition from... Go for it. Yep. Yep. Seeing what we're working with right now. So what's he got? Oof. Okay. All right. Reasonable. And the bolt can be really good in the race situation. Yeah. Right? The yeah. I mean, like right and... now, this is. Yeah. I think you probably do have to take the bolt. It does take. It just essentially like slows it down by one turn. Yeah. Because right now, Philippe is presenting a four-turn clock right now. Absolutely. Um, and every hit, like you can, like you can present a right now. Dave can put a three-three shadow into play, or even a bigger shadow, I should say. He has. Oh, for sure. He's, he's, he's a fetch he's shock. He can get fetch shock. He goes to seven. But nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shadow. Okay, that's. Plain I think that's reasonable. Yeah, if you go to seven, go to four, there might be some sort of combination of now getting I, bolted twice, I guess. Yeah, and I don't, I don't see a battle rage in David's hand. No. So, Philippe is okay on that front for now. Yeah. But all it takes is like one fetch land, fetch shock. You're like, I mean, he gets attacked down to seven, fetch shock, gets to go to four. Yeah. Battle Rage still doesn't kill uh, Philippe, so I think you're pretty safe to probably uh, attack. But I think before you do that, probably cast like your cantrips. See, yep, see, see, like, see what you're working with. Yep, get to stack, uh, get to stry your deck. Oh, top, bottom. All right, so at least Philippe likes one of the cards. Now that shadow, interestingly, is in bolt range. Uh, but I mean, the worst you thing you want to do well, is yeah, bolt you... and then they cycle a street wraith or Having something. Having said that, you've seen two street wraiths cycle already. That is true. So with that them tapped true. out, maybe you go for it. Ah, I see Philippe has elected not to attack. Probably on chump block duty right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is the great thing with uh, the Phoenix. You can just kind of block with it and then just play three spells and then it comes back. Absolutely. I see Philippe is probably tapping, counting out a little bit, doing some math. 
All right. Yeah, I think Felipe's he's going to take it. Yeah. Interesting. The the no attacks, no blocks right now. But uh, I think yeah, if you attack, go to seven. Even the fetch shock. I guess if you if your opponent has like. Thoughtsies into battle rage or something. Yeah. Then, then that's pretty bad for you. Alright, so I think it's the Philippe is gonna be taking six, yep. going down to twelve. Yep. And Did, uh, Dave's gonna cycle, cycle a bubble. bubble. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like that. Seeing see what card uh, Philippe kept on top. Yep. Gives him a little bit more information because he did uh, he did see Philippe's hand, mind you. We've since seen a serum vision, so yeah. It's now I think David does have the stomach denial in hand. That would be uh, yeah. He does have stomach denial right which now, which can be very oh, very powerful in shutting down card. those Morphos chains. Okay. Oh, thinking right now. So I think Dave has done thought scour targeting Philippe to get rid of the card that's on top. Mm-hmm. Responsible now. Opting to try and uh, if, yeah, opt to draw, draw, draw the card right now. Yeah, because Felipe yeah. is looking at two lands. Yes, that is not so. Like right now, I think Davis is kind of thinking if he wants the stubborn denial, but that just feels so bad. Stubborn denialing opt right now. I yeah, I feel there's definitely better uses for. Uh, but the thing is, we don't know what that top card is right now, right? So yeah, yeah. Oh, I think okay. yeah, it, the opt is resolved. It's going to be And what was it? We yeah, and then mill two. Okay. And there's the. Oh, angler. there, there you go. There's the fish. So David is presenting eleven damage if he doesn't take yes any more life loss. So I mean, and holds up and is holding up a stumber denial right now. Yep. All right. So there's a lightning axe, which is quite good, but unfortunately, oh, young pyromancer, young pyromancer okay. is very strong. Yeah. That that that'll yeah, play against the uh, the attacks without team or battle rage, anyways. Yeah. Attacks for three. Yeah, goes okay. to four right now. Yeah, but I feel like. Uh, Feel like you're gonna probably he's gonna go attacks. Philippe is probably gonna try to lightning axe the the Gurmag Angler. Yep. But it will get stubborn denial. But you still which generate. is okay because he's gonna get the token. He's got it's a token right now. Oh, just the just death the shadow. Just the death shadow. I mean, I think he still goes for the the lightning axe play. Yes. Generates a token. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of where we thought was going to happen. So now the question becomes if he's going to take the nine from this shadow. The thing is, right now, if you take the nine, go to four, you do have lethal. Yeah. If you swing back, if if Dave doesn't have anything right now, but that's yeah. such such a risky line right now. I think he's going to probably yeah, go okay. to jump block right now. You're presenting a two turn clock with. Which, I mean, if he can make another token, yep. he probably can live through the next turn, barring, you know, yes. Battle Rage. Rage. Yeah. And I see right now he did with the Bobble, and so then Philippe decides to fetch right now. It's such a funny thing. You know, like, it could have been land, and, yeah. you know, but you're like, well, I don't want my opponent to know that's, what I'm getting. <laughs> that's, I think that's kind of like, I mean, there's something to be said about having, trying to hide that information right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. I mean, David only has the one card right now. Yep. So, Philippe being at 12 right now. Um, yep. Bobble Trigger draws a land. And what uh, do we we got? don't know. Yeah, he's uh, he's keeping it pretty close to his chest right now. I think, so. yep, swing for the three right now. Puts yep. Dave to one. And, oh, and it's the bolt. The bolt. All right. There you go. That's a, that's a pretty good draw stop there. All right. So not bad. I think yeah. I think young permancer definitely. You know. I think that's yeah. He gave you the one one blocker right there. to kind of just chump block the. Yep. Uh, and it applies a lot of pressure. So. And I mean, even if 
David had something for the lightning bolt, like another stubborn denial, yeah, there's still the chump blocker. Like yeah, he's still dead next turn. Absolutely, so absolutely. The Pyromancer was fantastic. fantastic there. Yeah, definitely kind of generated a lot of blockers for the ground. Yeah. Just because of the death shadow, they just can't the air, they just they're so vulnerable to the air. Absolutely. So as long as, without a battle rage, you can just put one one tokens for days. Yep. And just block your opponent's creatures right there. Now looking at the sideboard. Yes, let's um, see. Let's uh Felipe let's... has there's a Dragon's Claw, not great. Not a probably braid, not good. No. no. Rejection, no. Nope. Extraction, Extraction, probably no, not. No. You probably bring in the Beacon Bolts right now. Yeah, the Beacon Bolt can let yeah, them deal with it. the very large creatures. Um, you might bring in the spell, maybe for... Actually, yeah. no, that, the, the spell th for the Battle Rage. I think there could be an argument for, yeah, there, yeah. for the Dispel or, or Spell Pierce. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's in the market Before. for Ral, is it? No. Nope. What do you think about Blood Moon here? Blood Moon, that's... See, I mean, so uh, Dave played against the, um, the Ponza deck in mm -hmm. the quarters, and we were just saying how, like, the Blood Moon would be very strong against Dave's deck just because, I mean, a lot of times you want to do Fetch Shock, Fetch yeah, Shock absolutely. right now. While Dave does do play Basics right now, but that does kind of slow down his life loss which then kind of prevents the... Um, yeah, it can give Felipe time to build up kind the of Alpha Strike right now. kind of yeah. thing, right? But I don't know like if one Felipe wants it. But the thing is, like you play one Blood Moon, Dave can just like stubborn denial it. Now you've yep. like taken your whole like turn three to play. Or, you know, like, sometimes they have those really fast starts and they've yeah, got it's... two Death Shadows yeah. out and you play Blood Moon and you just, just look silly. Out. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, if you do that, then it's unlikely Dave will be able to lower his life total much yep. lower from just even like thought seizes or like yep, he'll probably have to true. start bolting himself um, which I saw him do and he did that in the last round yeah, yeah in the last round yeah he in response to his opponent bolting a death shout he bolted himself yep which was a uh, yeah very very good play there now in the board for David yes. we have anger of the gods yes. which I think is good here yes uh, what about collective brutality um I think brutality Probably on the slower side right now. I yeah. mean, you're probably going to hitting a young Pyromancer. Yeah, you can hit an Arc Like Phoenix, but uh, yep. a lot of times, like that Arc Like Phoenix is going to be pretty quick to kind of come out there. Absolutely, and and using a card to kill an Arc Like Phoenix feels feels pretty feels bad. Feels pretty bad right now. Like um, even your best modes are like Brutality minus two minus two. Yep. Sorry. Cool. Sorry, the judge just kind of stepped in to uh, say a few things. Uh, yeah, the collective brutality probably a little on the slower side, I think. Yeah. Um, like best case, you can go brutality, maybe get rid of an instant or sorcery out of your uh, your opponent's hand. But even at that point, yeah. you're like losing two cards right now. Absolutely, and then. Fatal Push probably comes in yes. for the thing in the ice. Um, surgical Extraction, I think, is, is reasonable. You probably want to bring the Surgicals to be able to hit the Phoenixes. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very reasonable uh, reasonable play. And then also... Maybe the Spell Bomb. Maybe I think Spell Bomb's great. Yeah, spell Bomb's pretty good. Um, and then uh, I think outside of that, you probably... There's not too, too much. Yeah, no. Nope. All right, so the players have shuffled up and they've uh, drawn their sevens. David four lands i think in hand yeah. so a little a little bit clunky but he he does have the cantrips in there yeah all right so um goes with the serum visions could set it up all right top bottom okay and I think I see Thoughtseize and a... This is a good a place. If you get to go for Philippe, you can always do the turn one Thought Scour your opponent. Yep. Yeah. It seems probably not worth no, it. If, he, if he's not. looking to bring back the no, Phoenixes, it's, it's, yeah. it seems pretty medium. So Dave draws the Thought Scour for the turn. Now, I don't think David has a threat in hand yet. No... And this th this is one of the things the Grixis deck can sometimes do, where it just spins its Spells wheels. Spells a little bit right now. You're just trying to, like... The Thought Scour is, like, you don't know what you're going to hit right now. Yep. Unless you have the Gurmag in hand. And, you know, he may draw another land yep. and then okay. pitch a Gurmag. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we have a Thought Seize right now. I do see a Blood Moon if Philippe's his hand right now. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. This is, two, this three is a things. three thing in the ice. 
Oh, Metamorphos. Geez. Okay. This is a uh, this is quite the hand right now. Well, he's covered against Fatal Push. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is that is true. I mean, knowing that the Blood Moon is there, I guess you could yeah. try to sculpt your hand around the Blood Moon. For sure, and I mean, he, yeah. he has the Stubborn Denial, so even just using That's it as there. like a Force Spike yeah. is probably fine. Oh, I think fine. he's going to go with the double, uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, double Thoughtseize. So, it seems like one thing in the ice is disappearing. He's getting the basic right And there's now. the basics. And this is kind of the thing with the Blood Moon. is yeah. If your opponent's finding basics, you, it's it's not doing anything not anymore. There. Takes the second one. Okay. So David needs a threat, but definitely a great start. Yeah, you know, being solid. able to get rid double thought sees. Get rid of two thing in the eyes right now. Yep. I think it's very reasonable. So Philip just probably gets to go turn two, thing in the ice. Yep. And then hold up. See, hold up, like, the next turn you get to go Manamorphose. Yeah. All right, so he's going to mill himself, see if he hit any arc lights. Is that a second Manamorphose? Okay. All right, so, so he, a second he might be flipping yeah. that thing pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, that would be quite the clock right there. Now, I don't think, I don't think David has any removal in hand no. currently. Yep, it does not seem that way right now. I mean, if so, you play the Blood Moon right now, you are going to strand... No, he definitely has a... Yeah. He's got a Stubborn Knot. So I don't think that... Philippe should probably not take his whole turn playing. Did he draw another thing? Nope. Oh, Metamorphos. It's Metamorphos right now. Now, does yep. he have a land in hand? Yep. Yes. So... So, I mean, he could have he he paid the one there. He could have paid the one. That's I don't know if that was a misstep right there, because that's pretty huge right there. Yep. Dave is, uh, I think that they're probably talking about whether they can remove the the counter or not. Yeah, which it's it is a cast trigger. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, a little, little bit of unfortunate John sequencing, Sarah, so I yeah, think, for playing, Felipe. Playing, there. Yeah, being able to play the land first. Maybe he was trying to see like what land he wants to play, but being able to get your Metamorphose countered by just. A lowly, like, stubborn yeah. owl. Like, and I, 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 think, I think he might have had enough in hand that he could have flipped it that turn, and being able to just get in there with the yeah. flipped Awoken Horror um, this early in the game, with David not having removal, I believe, I, th I think it would have been very oh, powerful. he drew a zombie fish. Okay. okay. So we got ourselves a five. And a shadow. And a death shadow. Okay. That's uh, quite the... But, I mean, at the same time, like, you don't really want to deploy your whole hand. Oh, he No, he's, he's going, he's going for, for it. it. Okay, so I think he's feeling three. very comfortable with that yeah, stubborn denial not, in yeah. hand. So three spells right now. But if if Felipe can get this thing flipped, that's yes. going to be. He has one metamorpho. Well, the thing is, he I think he's got the metamorphose. The is unknown at this point, but mm -hmm. the blood moon and a land I believe is known. So he's going to have to do pretty. He's going to have to probably get a little lucky on his draw step or the metamorphose. So he has to play three spells. Yeah. I right, maybe thinking yeah, of going for the Blood Moon if he's getting the basic yeah, island. Maybe, but I mean, at this point, like it's that's really not doing. Re anything. That's not you're not doing much right now at that point. It's much too late for Blood Moon. You have a five, like you're facing down a five five, and unfortunately, we, we don't. I believe know it's a four four. I think four, David's four? at nine. Line. Okay. But with with a fetch in play, that's yes. very quickly going to yeah, become exactly. You know, oh, he did draw a uh, faithless looting. Okay. So. Um, yeah, I think he has two spells right now. He's got a Metamorphose and a Faithless Looting. Oh, he's oh, going he's with the going Blood Moon. Oh, he's going for it. Interesting. Okay, um, not too sure how I feel about this, considering, uh... Yeah, he might, he might just be dead on Yeah, because you get to, like, Fetch Shock. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure what Felipe was trying to... Yeah, your your there. opponent has access has, to, all has access colors, to all the colors. And colors right now. This late in the game, I mean, it's not like no. David has a ton of cards to empty yeah. out. So you're not really slowing him down and or anything. I think anything. both creatures are now 5-5s. Five Fatal Push. Attack for 10. Was it Fatal Push or Dismember? Oh, just, uh, oh, if it was a Dismember, that's like way better. I, not too, We're not too, too sure. sure yeah. Yeah. It just went way too quickly there. Yeah, I think Felipe had it, and he could have. He drew the lightning axe. Yeah, I think so. He could have had. He could have kind of chained through his spells out there.
getting getting that first Manamorphos force spiked, I yes. think, was the game. Yeah. So because even on his the turn that he wanted to flip, he would have cast the Manamorphos. He probably would have, he probably would have got summer denial. Yep. Uh, you get to play the um, faithless looting. Yep. He would have drawn into the uh, the axe. Yeah. Well, because yeah, if if you had the one mana to pay, yeah, so the Morphos would have resolved. resolved. He had a yeah, second Morphos, and yeah. then no problem. You can no, you put away faithless there, looting. Yeah. So. A little bit unfortunate there. However, yes. Felipe is going to be going in, in on the play. Play, yes, which is like pretty good for, for his deck right now. Yeah, definitely where he wants to be, and he may just be able to cobble together one of those one, quick one Phoenix wins. wins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, after the match, we can definitely like, we talk to Felipe and be like, all right, like, why maybe the Blood Moon maybe was a bit of or or even like the playing the land before playing the Manamorphos. I think that, I think yeah. that was a pretty big uh, misstep at that point, and yeah. I think the direction of the game definitely changed Absolutely. to favor favor uh, David at that point. All right, they've did a quick shuffle. They've already presented. So here we go. Let's see what kind of sevens uh, these players are working with. Thoughtseize. Okay, oh, one land. Okay, that's uh, probably not where you want to be. However, you well, do have a faithless. Looting. You have a faithless looting right now, and this he's, he's a redundant fish right now. It's tempting. It is very tempting. You can go f turn one, like, but I mean, you're only stuck with the two colors right now, right? So do you go, like, yeah. he has one draw step, gets to go, like, maybe Thoughtseize or something. And then after that, you have a looting. So Felipe has capped, it appears. Yeah. And then Goldfarb is right now. Okay, he's also capped, I think. Okay. I mean, it is a risky, risky keep. But, I think uh, the matchup is good enough for him then yeah. maybe he doesn't have to you know to bank on there. those sketchy hands yeah um but we'll see and and again like you said the, the looting the looting does kind of the, you definitely have two gurmags in hand it's very unlikely you're going to be able to cast both gurmags yep. uh in terms of delf so like that's like one you can probably discard there oh, no, for a second is... faceless looting no battle rage oh battle rage oh yeah. sorry just so i mean right he's got the pieces okay so probably get the yep yeah. okay there you go I mean, it allows you to both cast uh, Faithless Looting and the uh, Gurmag Angler, which Absolutely. is kind of what maybe his game plan is right now. And his opponent capped a very... Cantrip heavy hand. hand. Yes. All right. So, so. he's going to take the only spell that does anything. Yep. Um, this is also... Uh, both players kept a one land hand. Yep. And kind of see how it goes from here. So hopefully we'll be able to see some magic. And... Uh, oh, I think uh, Felipe did draw a second land. Yes. And now, now he's off. Now the his, races, hand, yeah, his hand, yeah, he's is got great. double opt. You've got the faithless lootings. Mm -hmm. I think he's probably just going to end up opt, trying to set up maybe getting some. Uh... Oh, yep. Here we go. Okay, so Davis now trying to dig for some lands right now. Yeah, he drew a uh, dismember for turns. So it's looking on the bottom right now. And I mean, if he can hit a land, his hand is is yeah. is pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, he does have a thought scar, and so like. You can definitely be able to kind of do a turn three fish right now. Yep. Which with stubborn denial is, is quite powerful. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, okay, that's anger. Of the gods, I think, yeah, is never, never getting cast, cast in this at game. This point right now, that's unfortunate. Dave is stuck on the one land right now. But I mean, I don't think he's completely dead right now. Um, his yeah. opponent doesn't have much in terms of a of he, the clock. He needs Felipe to stumble just a little bit. A little bit. bit right now. But it's going to be hard because he def definitely still has one opt and two more Lootings, faithless yeah. lootings right now. So he can definitely sculpt his hand pretty well right now. Yep. So Dave needs to draw pretty much a land on the next turn. Or he's in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble yeah. right now. It seems like he's still holding on to, yep, Summer Nile and Fish. Yep. I think that's fair. And end step, we're going to see an opt from Felipe. Right. That always feels bad. Yeah, when you, when yeah. you're stumbling on lands land, and your yeah, opponent, you know, just the like scry and they're yeah. going, oh, I'm going to keep this. And you know, Felipe it's... hits his third land right now. Oof. Okay, so he's just pretty and much doing... There's a thing yeah, in the ice. Okay. I think uh, unless Dave has something for this, it's going to be a pretty... Oh, oh he he's does good. Draw, and yes. I think he's got the dismember in yes, hand, I think I, I saw. I think that's also very good, too. So he's okay. We've yeah, got a game. Yeah, we got a game. Yeah, I mean, if he did not hit that second land, I think it would have been a little... But right now, he definitely has... Uh, yep, he definitely has this member and still has the fish. So he's doing a quick check. You could probably do the dismember and fetch. Yep. 
and play a five five, which I think is uh, pretty good. And he's he's got the stubborn denial in case Felipe draw drew uh, his spell pierce. Yeah. So I think you're just gonna probably run out the fish right now, and hold up. Oh. I think he's gonna kill the thing. Kill the thing, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, just letting Felipe untap with like three, four cards in hand and a And he 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 knows two of those are faithless lootings which yes. haven't been cast yet. So Correct, yeah. It's very, very likely that Felipe flips this thing next turn. It would it would take uh quite a lot what? of whiffing. To to not, yeah. Alright, he goes with the steam vent. From the original gill pack. Yep. Very nice. But, you know, standing beside the uh, the new Blood Crypt. Uh, Alright, so... <laughs> <laughs> yep, playing the fish right now and has a stubborn denial right now. I think that's reasonable. I think he's going to let him... Okay. Yeah, I think he's going to let him... Uh, I mean, you can always respond to the trigger of, of the flip to try Absolutely. to dismember it right now. So, I think he's more afraid of maybe, like, a Blood Moon, because if a Blood Moon lands... Yeah, it's... Like, the game's just pretty much done at that point there. Yeah. So I see an opt. There's I see an opt, two definitely looting. We yeah, of. we're definitely, like, this thing can flip if he wants it to. It's a matter of, uh... Actually, yeah, no, I think this... I think Felipe's probably just going to try to flip this, the, flip this thing in the ice yeah. right now. And then... It's very unlikely Dave is going to be able to be able to cast this uh, this uh, Gourmet Gangler for any time soon. No, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, he def uh, yeah, Felipe has both a one mana cantrip and two. I believe there are at least still two uh, faithless faithless looting. So yeah, this uh, this thing in the ice will get thawed out. So probably the first looting. First looting probably yep. gets uh, stubborn denials right now. No, nope. no. Nope. I mean, see, see what's up's going on right there. Let's see, draws any. Is that a? No, that was not a phoenix. Is that? It's hard to tell with this yeah. angle of the of where we're looking at right now. Oh, but we'll I... find out if it was a phoenix. In yeah, there is. There a... Okay, go. there okay. we go. We got a phoenix. So I mean, like right now, we're going to be able to get. Flip thing in the ice and having the at least one phoenix coming in right now. Mm -hmm. oh, see the dismember. Yeah, that's. Oh no, Dave is saying trigger to your opt right now. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's that's also reasonable right now. Yeah, so that's that's yeah. okay because I think the phoenix uh, is going to come back. So yeah, no, because right now thing is gonna die. Thing is dying because I mean it was responding to the mm -hmm. one trigger. Yeah, so yeah, thing in the ice will be dead. Which is okay. He's gonna yes. have he's gonna have phoenix, and I think his opponent is sitting on like stubborn denial. Yes, and... I think right now. So not so just not the... a ton going on in David's hand just no. yet. So up now will resolve. Gonna keep it. Attack with the bird. Put your opponent down to five. Yep. Yeah. Now I think that's is that Snapcaster Mage in David's hand. He also has an Anger of Gods right now too. So I think he is if he hits the last land right now. Yes. But did he not trigger the the Phoenix? I'm not too sure. What yeah, I, that's, there. I'm not too sure why. Because uh, definitely three spells were cast Oof, there. And there's there's a surgical extraction. Oh no. Yeah, I'm really conf I'm really don't understand why uh, the Phoenix did not there? come no. there. Yeah, did he just forget to? I guess he for moved no, right past, past it? combat or yeah. Which that's that's very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. That's very unlike Felipe to miss it because he definitely played more than three spells that turn yep. too. Yeah, the looting the yeah the axe. The looting the, the axe, axe and, and the opt. opt. Yeah, that's uh, that's very strange. Now he does still have Crackling Drakes in the deck. Okay, yeah, Blood Moon. Yeah, okay, Blood Moon. But I think uh, there is a Stubborn Denial. But that's okay. He can he can pay for it. Oh yes, yes, that's yeah. true. Yes. So that's. Uh, so now, now we're gonna see classic yeah, he, Blood Moon yeah, magic. Yeah, and then where... Felipe even points to having the. He's like, I have a, I have an island. 
Yep. All right, so here we go. All right, and uh, David's got two mountains. Got two mountains. Here we go. So Felipe's got no no phoenixes left in his deck. Yeah. David's got two mountains. Uh, we still have Crackling Drakes. I yes. think there's one more Crackling Drake, and it still he's has the Young Pyro. He's, he's also got, got the Young Pyro. He's also Young Pyro Mancers right now. And he's still got a thing in the ice. Yeah, so absolutely. He's, I think he's good here, unless uh, David can find, well, you know, does... his basic. Yeah. How many? I, probably just the one swamp. One swamp, and... yeah. One swamp, one island. Okay. In terms of basics right now. Okay, there's the yeah, thing there's in the, the thing. ice. That dodges, uh, the, the dodges, I, no, anger okay. of gods right there's now. There's a bobble. <clears throat> Oh, oh nope. Fetchland. Yeah. And I mean, this this is the story with Blood Moon. It was That's terrible it, yes. in one game, yep. and it was incredible like, in this like, match. Right now, Dave cannot really play any kind of magic right now. And I, yeah, I will That's... be very surprised if Felipe can't get this thing flipped felt, and yeah. get Dave down to zero before uh, before Dave, Dave finds, finds his basics. basics yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have actually with two lootings in the graveyard too. So he's going to be able to turn through most of his deck at this point. Yep. In the draw, yep. Draw two. Yep. Look at Dave being a oh, leaving it on four right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Did he forget his trigger? It yeah, looks like so he did, like, forgot yeah. his trigger on his thing in the ice. All right. Which you know, high stakes games. It yeah, can I think I yeah. Think, I mean, I think like Felipe's you're playing. good here. He's got to take a breath because yeah. he's in a great, great, great spot, spot right, right now. now. Yeah. But if you're missing the trigger, like missing the Phoenix trigger from the attack, missing the trigger on the thing in the ice. Yeah. I mean, these players have been playing probably like this is the eighth round of Magic they've been playing. Yes, absolutely. So, like, coming into like eighth hour right now, it's yeah, and you're hungry. You're hungry. You're, you're pretty yeah. tired. So no, definitely uh, mistakes are being like you know up. Oh, I'm not too sure what the players are saying right now. Dave is pointing at the thing in the ice. I think he's pointing at the island, which I'm Both not too islands? sure. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so Felipe... Okay, so... Nope, I think he's just pointing and saying something about the trigger, maybe? I'm not too sure. Yeah. Most likely not going to be relevant. No, it should I not think. be relevant. I think right now we have a Manomorphos right yep. now. Trigger. Okay, he's removing his triggers yeah. right now. Are you cast Manomorphos with Blood Moon? You just yeah, feel it feels great. so good. Right you can now. do anything you want with your mana. And I think Dave has just been like, yeah, look, I have three mountains right now. Yep. Second right, Morphos. Third Morphos, okay. yeah. These are guys. Yeah, yeah he's seen yeah, enough. Because yeah, that thing's going to flip and then... It's over at that point right now. Oh, there was another Morphos on top. Oh, very nice. Okay. Okay. So, so Felipe, uh, Felipe edging that one out. out. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm actually. I'm. I'm surprised. I thought David was going to get there until the blood yeah, came exactly, down. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Exactly. He, he stumbled early, and 